What's going on guys? This is Seha Man back with another figure review and today we're going to be taking a, uh, taking a look at two figures in one review. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane Movie Maniac Series 7. We're going to be looking at Aliens Corporal Dwayne Hicks. Now it just says Corporal Hicks. Now if you guys have the Aliens um, DVD, if you guys have the special edition, you obviously know that his first name is Dwayne. Um, he gives away his name in, in the special edition version. If you guys just watch the regular theatrical version, you just know him as Hicks. But his name is Dwayne Hicks. Uh, this is a the package we're looking at here is the Comic Con, not the Comic Con, is the uh, Collector Club exclusive version of Hicks. And um, I have right here the regular version that was released in in stores. And we'll go over all the um, special features once I uh, or the differences once I open this uh, package up and we take a closer look. Now, the reason why I don't have the package on this one is because I actually shot a video of um, this one here with the package and uh, on my, I, used, I do a lot of my videos on my phone and my phone lost all the, all the um, it, it like froze on me, I had to restore everything back to its normal settings so I lost a lot of my um, pre, um, like a lot of the videos I shoot with just the packaging so a lot of the videos are going to be seeing right now and the next couple reviews are going to be without the packaging. But I didn't uh, shoot this one yet. So this is the, uh, it's the same exact packaging. The only difference is, is obviously the picture here and the um, Collector's Club exclusive. The differences on this one we'll go over once we open the figure. So there's um, Aliens right there. This is Series 7. We look right back here. We got all the other figures from the series. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh, Robocop. And again, this is by McFarlane. So this is this, uh, the photo shown right here is the regular um, one that was released in retail. So we'll, get, we'll go over that in a second. But that's pretty much packaging on this figure. We'll go ahead and uh, take a quick break and we'll take a look at both figures. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So here we have a close look at Corporal Hicks outside of the packaging. Well, this one here is the regular version that this one already took them out of the packaging when you guys saw the um, uh, the intro here. Now, we'll go over the differences. Actually, what we'll do first is we'll go over what this figure comes with. And then we'll go over the um, uh, Collector's Club Edition, which I actually had a problem with, and I'll show you that, guys. I'll show you that in a second when I take when I take them out of the, when I took them out of the packaging. Now, first thing you see here, he does come with the pulse rifle. You can see that right there, which is very nice. So he does have this pulse rifle, which is really, really cool. And he has a little strap here, which is like a soft rubber. So it's very nice we get this gun. He has a display base. Which is nicely detailed. It's also like a soft, it's kind of like, kind of like a soft material. But it's um, really cool. It's got two peg holes in the bottom, or two pegs on the bottom there. So it's very nice. It's got that little like gooey stuff or alien, whatever this stuff is. But it's got you know it's got a really really nice uh, detailed base. And let's take a look a close look at um, um Hicks here. So you can see he somewhat looks like the actor, and I think the actor's name was Michael Bean, if I remember correctly. But um he he kind of looks like the actor a little bit. He's got his little um. Um, little walkie-talkie, not walkie-talkie, but little piece here, earpiece here with the, with the, um, you know, so I can contact, you know, whoever the hell he's talking to or t talk to his team. Forget what you call these things, the headphones, forget what you call them. But there's his uh, little facial expression he's got going on there, which is pretty cool. It says born again right there. Got a bunch of little stuff going on with his um, outfit. You got the nice little ca um, camo fatigue, which is really cool. Um, this is a really good figure, you know, I'm, I hope, I mean, this is McFarlane, but I hope NECA does do a version of uh, Hicks. Over here, he's got his little pack here with a little light. And again, this is like a softer material, which is really cool. I do like the um, the way they did the, uh, the paint on the uh, camo. It's really, really nice. He's got a bunch of little stuff going on with him here, like it's just a lot, this is a little loose little thing right here. I don't know what this is exactly. 
This appears to be a knife that comes out there, this little sheath. You know what? I've had this figure for a while, and I just figured this out. This is a knife right here. That's removable. I didn't know that. It's kind of warped, soft material, but I did not know that. I just figured that out right now. So this does also have a knife that's removable from the sheath. That's pretty cool. It's got a few little extra rounds there. Other than that, he's pretty nice. He's a pretty nice figure. You can see he's got a little uh, tattoo right there. Now, in the way of his articulation, I'm going to go over the articulation with this one because the other one I have a problem with, and I'll, and I'll let you know, let you know about that in a second. Um, so, oh, also, you guys want to see his little watch he has here? I believe this is what he gave uh, Ripley, which is which is like a little has a little like a tracker on it to let him know. Uh, where the person is, but um, in the way of his articulation, now it's really, really limited. Um, the head can go slightly up and down, can rotate it side to side. The arms do go in and out, forward and back. Can uh, rotate a little, can rotate at the wrists. You got rotation in the waist. The other arm is the same thing, but this one, um, he's got, you know, he has a bent elbow there, so you can't. He has no nothing at like the bicep or at the elbow, no articulation there. And the legs, there's, there's nothing in the legs, like right here where the hips are. Or the, or the, yeah, there's, no, there's nothing here. There's no articulation here. The legs can't go in and out. He's stuck in this pre-pose right there, like he's like doing some kind of like a shooting stance. Um, but he does have lower leg rotation. So he can move the lower legs. But he's going to be stuck in this pose, just as you see him here. And uh, because of the limited arm articulation also, you can't really get him to hold his gun in like a, like a really cool pose. You gotta really mess with the hands a little bit, but that's, I mean, that's, that's the only pose you can get him with the, uh, him holding his gun. This is pretty cool. This is a really nice figure. I highly recommend it. Now we're gonna go over the um, the special uh, collectors club version. So this is the regular one that was released in retail. Now if we go over the special edition one, you can see him right here. Now I'm gonna tell you something. I just took this out of the packaging, and he does come with the same exact base. The base is exactly the same, um, but when I took him out of the packaging, the arm came right off arm came right off this guy so not really too mad because I mean I can just I'm all I got really got to do is super glue this so you know not really gonna be pissed about that but probably throughout this review I'm, I'm gonna be reviewing him with the arm off but the differences um, in the figure are some of the accessories he does come with he does come with an extra piece of the base you can see right here he does come with a little egg which is very nice very very nice so this is really cool. We get one of these. It's almost kind of like a translucent, so you can see right through it. Really cool. So he does have that, and he does have a, a dead face hugger. You can see this here, very nicely detailed. This one, like I said, it's dead. Um, you can you know reenact one of the scenes in the movie where uh, they encounter the uh, the dead uh, or they encounter the egg and then Hicks goes up to to the uh, to one of the eggs and you can see the fa dead face hugger in there and he just picks it up and you can reenact it like this you can have him holding the shotgun with the uh, face hugger on the end of it right there which looks really cool and that's another one of the accessories he doesn't come with a pulse rifle this one this figure comes with a uh, shotgun you can see that right there, that's pretty cool. So this figure does have a shotgun, which is really nice. And another cool accessory he has. Um, forgot the name of this uh, of this device. It's got a nice little rubbery or soft material little um, strap. But this is the, uh, the tracker. I think it's called the tracker. Um, obviously, you guys, if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. This is what they use when... Uh, they're trying to find, you know, a human or whatever that's um, that's around their area. They can obviously track them with this. So he does come with this, which is very cool. And 
taking a look at Hicks himself. The figure is exactly the same as this one. Articulation is exactly the same. There's no real big difference. I'd say the only differences in the actual figure himself is that he does come with a um, helmet. The helmet is not removable. The strap, you can actually move the little chin strap. You can actually move it, but it's not removable, the helmet itself. But I think it looks great. I think it's cool that he has a helmet on. He's got the little eyepiece right there. I think that's what they're when they're looking through um, infrared. You can see that there. And another cool thing that's different about this figure, this version, is he has the um, shotgun uh, holster. You can see it opens up here. It's um, also nicely detailed. And you can put the uh, shotgun right in there. And it closes. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool that you get, you know, those little different accessories with with each figure. Now I'm gonna try to get him to hold his uh, his um, his rifle with his broken arm. What I'm gonna do is just take the arm off, place this in his hand. Maybe if you want to put the little egg hugger there and maybe we can put this uh, strap or this, I don't know, we can put this little tracker thingy right back here somewhere. And then I'll put this here, we'll get the other hicks out. I'll lift the camera up and I'll show you little side-by-side -side comparisons of both figures. So you can see this is the Collector's Club exclusive, has a lot more accessories with it, which is very nice. And here's the regular one, we get at retail. It pretty much just comes with the base and the uh, shotgun. And they both do have the remo removable knife as well, that's um, hidden right there. But both are great figures, you guys, and um, you know, uh, as far as the prices go, on this, I was lucky enough to get, uh, got out of focus here, I ended, I actually got the um, the retail version I got off Amazon. I think I paid $25 for it, The and that's that, that was shipped. The Comic Con, or the, the Collector's Club exclusive, I paid, I think it was $30. And that's a pretty good price because he can go for like 40 to 50 I've even seen him go for 60 He's a little harder to get, but very, very cool figure. and. These are just very awesome. I'm a fan of aliens, and they're going to look great with my alien setup. All right, guys, this is Seha Man. Hope you guys enjoyed my review. Today, we're taking a look at the Movie Maniacs McFarlane Series 7, Corporal Hicks. All right, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.